What's happening, folks? It's your guy Rashad out here at Action Sports Bar and Grill. Kent Washington with another follow me to work. Day in the life of a bar owner, food truck owner, restaurant owner, all that. Uh, this is a, a double service event. This video gives you a peek. I took a couple of days, different days we had on the food truck, and uh, kind of condensed them together just to kind of give you an idea of what a double service day can look like. As always, uh, if you like the video, please do let us know. Give us a like, subscribe to the channel, uh, turn on your notifications so you can find out when we're dropping more of these videos. Uh, let us know also what you kind of want to hear, what you want to see, what kind of topics you guys want to see, what, what, what stuff behind the scenes you want to see at the, at the food truck or the, or the bar or the restaurant. So uh, you can do a double service on the truck by either doing like a breakfast and a lunch or a breakfast and a dinner service or a lunch and a dinner service. Um, these were both lunch and dinner services. Uh, and you all, well, actually you don't even always have to do it at a different location. Sometimes they can be a double service at the same location for lunch and for dinner. But these were, uh, for us, these were two double services that wound up uh, being at different locations. Uh, if you do double services, they require a little bit more planning, obviously, because you got to uh, prep for two uh, services in the same day. So you're going to be doubling, theoretically, you're going to be doubling whatever your prep list is. Plus, you're going to also have to coordinate uh, how to keep that food hot or cold for your load in times. Uh, you're also going to have to figure out travel time in there so that you can leave one location and get to the other one and set up in time so uh with double services you just um you just need more pre-planning you have to uh, consider all that stuff before you get started because if you don't uh you can run into a real problem if it's if you're on the truck from 10 o'clock in the morning until two o'clock in the afternoon but you have a service at 4 30 if you don't have a way to start that food to get hot for the 430 service, uh, you're not going to be at the restaurant. You're not going to be back at the restaurant until 230. You know, if your service ends at two, half an hour drive time, you'll just be stuck. So all of this stuff you have to think of uh, before you wind up booking these type of double services. But a day in the life of a food truck operator, double service day. Hope you all enjoy. We'll see you on the next one. Another beautiful late fall afternoon here in the Pacific Northwest. Action food truck. We out here. Corporate part lunch today. So they got about 600 people in these offices. And we said, all right, we'll come feed everybody then. So pull up. It's Cubano Thursday. The office people don't have any food around them. So they were very, very, very excited to see us today. Still selling Mama Tate's treats, of course. Got her white chocolate chip cookies and chocolate chip cookies in there. It's 2 p.m. Just finishing up our lunch service. Doing a double service today. So we got to close up shop. Get everything buttoned up. Back to the bar. Reload food. Because in uh, two and a half hours, we start our next service for dinner. Tonight down in uh, uh, Auburn area. So, you know, we keep it moving, baby. That's what we do. Good service. A-Team is inside doing work.
action food truck out here in South King County, baby. Beautiful sunset. About to do service at a new venue, Top Down Brewing. Just a stone's throw from the mountain. End of another fun night service. Brought the truck out. Top down brewery in Sumner. Fun time. Great small business. Neighborhood bar. Local ownership. Friendly staff. We will be back again. Say hi, Crystal. Food truck manager. Finishing up another service out here in Sumner. First time in Top Down Brewing. Had a blast. Very cool service staff, very nice people. Neighborhood vibe, everything we're about. Out out high line today, the college doing our thing. Got two food trucks, better than one. Action food truck, side by side next to the breakfast all day truck. Kicking butt. Two trucks bring a crowd. Just finishing our first push of the day. Getting ready for the second one, baby. You know how we do it. Cold winter, Seattle day. Perfect for some soup and grilled sandwiches and for breakfast all day. Always a good time. Double service today. Starting at Highline, taking care of their student body. We already took care of the first push, waiting for the next class to end. So we can get to our second push. Operating today next to the breakfast all day food truck. Beautiful afternoon in the Pacific Northwest, Mount Rainier, peeking out in the background. We're down here in Sumner tonight, right at sunset for a nighttime service at Top Down Brewing.
All weather, all season food truck. That's what we do, baby. Big girl parked outside Top Down Brewery out here in Sumner, Washington. Feeding all the good people of the South End. All their smoke goodness. Brisket mac, smoked wings, loaded fries, kale salad even. All your favorites. We'll be here till eight. Check us out, Top Down Brewing. Doing double services is a really cool way to utilize the food truck. And what I, what I mean by it is it's kind of more efficient in a lot of ways. Uh, I'm already going to go get the truck. I'm already gassing it up. I'm already putting propane in it. Uh, I'm already driving it around, you know, uh, I went and switched it out. It's my vehicle for the day. I already have the damn thing um, to do one service. So it, in a lot of ways, just makes sense to do a second service while I already have all the truck stuff with me <laughs> instead of having to go and redo all that stuff on another day. Just, um, it, it, it can help in efficiency. So it takes a lot to get, uh, to put together a service and for me personally, having to run around and other things I'm not doing so that I can coordinate having the truck um, available and, and ready to rock and roll. And uh, the less number of times, days a, a, a month I have to do that, the better. So in that way, it's efficient for me. The, the trade-off is, though, is it makes for some long-ass days. So... My little insider tip is um, I wouldn't go doing double services and booking yourself into that kind of commitment until you feel like you have staff that can do half one of the services. If you can split the services in essence up between two different shifts, like if you have an AM you know, truck person with you or two with you, and you can also have different uh, PM truck people or front of the house truck persons, um, it will just make your life a whole lot easier because if not, you're gonna bring yourself and your people out because those double service days are long. You know, say you have a, your first service is 10.30 to 1.30, or just to say 11 to two it is your first service or 10 to two is your first service. Um, and then your second service is 4 to 7 p.m. All right, well, <laughs> if you're prepping and getting food hot in the morning and you're going to load it out in travel time, then you're looking at at least 9 a.m., if not 8 a.m., to be there to get this started. And then if your last service is over at 7 p.m., conservatively drive time and clean time, say you're looking at 8 p.m. Okay, well, now you're looking at 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., and that's a very, very, very conservative uh, estimate because um, most of that stuff can't be done in a half an hour. So uh, the point being is that it's efficient. You got all the stuff out and you already got people scheduled and you kind of get a two for deal um, by doubling these services up. That's great. Uh, but the trade off is it's going to be a long day. So just get your mind wrapped around that. The cool thing about these services, though, is that it is a really nice way to sell your product. You know, I mean, it's it. We've had fifteen hundred dollar lunches, fifteen hundred dollar lunches pretty regularly for us at, at some of our corporate places. And that's a great lunch, um, you know, but the bar in the restaurant, you know, typically does about three times that much in a day. They're different businesses, but. Um, you know, just comparatively, the trucks don't typically compete with what the bar is doing, uh, unless you're doing double services. And so that's the cool thing about it. We've had double services days where I've actually made more money sales wise on the food truck than I did at the bar. And so it is a really, um, kind of powerful way for us to expand and not technically just be one location. And that day it felt like we were three locations and the sales kind of supported it. The truck went to two spots. The bar and restaurant was at, obviously at its spot all day long. So uh, there is some upside to it. And if you were gonna grind and put everything you had into it and 
set yourself up for burnout, <laughs> then you could try to do it without staff. But um, I know the goal for us going into this year, we're not there yet. Um, our goal is to get to that point where we have staff enough to be able to split these devils uh, services into two different sets of staff to work them. So <laughs> the exciting part about that for us is with the next truck coming online, uh, theoretically, you should be able to do this with multiple vehicles as well. So multiple vehicles doing multiple services in a day. Obviously, we're still learning. We're, uh, you know, a relatively new food truck. Even, even though we have tons of restaurant and bar industry experience, uh, we have a ton to learn still in this food, um, in this uh, food truck game. So uh, I'm looking forward to that.